Good morning and welcome to Sunrise to Sunset with Pastor Gene. It's August 14th and today we look at 1 Corinthians 15. I pause today for a moment of personal privilege because today my maternal grandfather, James Ambrose Pittard, was born in 1899. And I count it as a double blessing, and I give thanks to God, not only for his memory and presence in my life, but the opportunity to be able to address 1 Corinthians 15 uh, on this day, because there's a, there's a real connection here for me. You see, at chapter 15 is the place where Paul addressed the most significant concern that he had for the church in Corinth. Now, all those other divisive issues were one thing, but this one, this one was the big one. What happens to us when we die? Now, after sharing the story of death and resurrection and appearance of Jesus to others, Paul calls himself one untimely born because Jesus had ascended and gone to heaven after Paul had been persecuting the church prior to his conversion. He also acknowledged the fact that he was saved by grace and he credits Jesus, he credits God, not himself, for his salvation. Now, most of chapter 15 is a theological argument that Jesus was raised from the dead because there were actually people in Corinth who couldn't grasp that concept. There is nothing worse, nothing worse than a Christian being divided about the fact that Jesus was raised from the dead. That is the fundamental principle of our faith in Jesus Christ, that he, he was raised from the dead out of love for us and God. Paul, Paul illustrates it this way. He says, what is sown is perishable. What is raised is imperishable. What is physical becomes spiritual. What is mortal becomes immortal. And he says, we will be changed. We may not all die, but we will be changed just as he was, just as he had new life because of Christ. Because of the resurrection of Jesus Christ, death has been swallowed up in victory and the sting of death has been taken away. The Lord went to the cross for a purpose. He did not die in vain. Someone once asked me if I thought we would know our family when we get to heaven. Yes, we will. And yes, we will know others as well. That's why I look forward to seeing my parents and my grandparents again. I know that we're going to see others that we know and have loved, and they're going to know and love us, and we'll all be there. We'll all be there in Christ. That's why faith in Christ matters. That's why his grace matters. And that's why all will be a joy. From a day of sunrise to a day there is never a sunset. Tomorrow, we complete our looking at 1 Corinthians with chapter 16. Go in peace.